Right toe. So today's first meeting is with a former podcast guest, a former podcast alumni, doing some pretty amazing things in the world. So looking forward to catching up. <laughs> <laughs> right, so uh, well, this thing is off balance again. Really fun um, catching up with Jim. He's a cool guy. I put a link to his podcast episode over in the description. Yeah, so interesting vlog content probably coming here over the summer if I can uh, catch up to some of his activities he's got going on. Um, at the moment, though, gotta head over to meeting number two. Uh, gotta visit another awesome guy that you have seen on the show, Mr. John Barian. But to answer your question, yeah, my name's John Barian. I have, I guess, uh, always had an entrepreneurial mindset, if you will, from since a young age. Oh boy, wait, okay, yeah. Yeah, I am really glad I got Horizon Line fixed, for the most part, at least. This guy's studio, apparently it got like, I don't wanna say renovated, but redone, you know? Anyhow, um, maybe I'll get a little bit of B-roll from this. Let's, uh, we'll see. All right, so a little bit of B-roll of their studio. Pretty cool, John's a great guy, and he's got a pretty cool team now like, that wasn't there last time I was here. And uh, now I'm gonna go, um, I'm gonna go push some pencils for, for, for a few hours, because there's a lot of work that I actually need to get done. Um, and then, and then, recap. So quick recap, first for the day. Uh, so went to John Barian's office this morning. It's more, it's really, it's a production studio. I really like the spot. It was a really fun uh, day. Got to, this morning actually met up with another old friend, uh, Jim Ford, and I met him actually through my podcast. I shared a ton of value about his life experience and how he goes about running his business, how he came to run his business, and um, just how he operates and runs like his life. And he's doing a lot in the world right now by way of just like, you know, giving back. And I cannot wait until I can share more details with you guys because it's just, it's, it's amazing and I'm really happy about it. In other news, so 30 day minimalism game uh, finished yesterday. I got to 23 items as opposed to 23 versus 30, 23 versus 30. The reason being, I mean, for me, essentially, I just, I had gotten rid of so many things every other day that I could not find the last seven things to get rid of that wouldn't actually decrease the quality of life that, that, I, that I'm currently living. I can't get rid of my camera equipment because I literally use it every single day to make these videos. And clothing is down to a bear. I might actually do a vlog where I just like lay out the clothing, like all of the clothing that I have. Um, I think that would be really funny. So minimalism, you don't want to use it to decrease your quality of life by having few things for the sake of having few things you want to use it to live a meaningful life like you have less things thereby increasing the quality of life if that makes any sense um, because I think that it's not really the things that make our lives worth living it is the experiences the people the relationships that we include in our lives that really make life more meaningful help us to pursue our passions even better help us in our career help us with like happiness level all that good stuff and that's, I'd call it a hugely successful uh, minimalism game very happy with my results out of there going forward I will be recording more stuff like new gear reviews and more event reviews speaking of events actually Actually, um, I'm going to an event next week and I'm gonna go ahead and just like plug this one because it's for a friend and two I made this video so I'm gonna show you guys <laughs> it's a LinkedIn local so LinkedIn local if you're on LinkedIn like it's more of a businessy thing um, but I went I met this guy I kind of forget where I met him right now huge amazing individual and I just love the like the the vibe that he's bringing into the business field the way that he goes about networking so he's hosting an event called LinkedIn local and uh, well I'm gonna be going to the next one I'm not I'm not gonna be filming the next one quite as much as I was the last one. Anyway, here's that. So many lights, lights, lights With us tonight, night, night Don't let them go to waste Look into my eyes, eyes, eyes It's gonna be alright, right, right Tomorrow's gonna be okay One moment, one shot 
So yeah, some more like I'll be doing more events going forward now that the minimalism thing is a little bit done. I should have a little bit more time. Like literally, so day 30, I spent probably an hour and a half, two hours looking for things to, to minimize, to let go of and that was the result. So anyhow, I probably will be talking more minimalism going forward though as it applies to like my work ethic and um, the different things that I do professionally, not professionally, etc, etc. If you have anything in particular that you'd like to know or as you'd like me to make videos of or talk about, you know, feel free to leave notes in the comments or just reach out however you can reach out to me or whatever. I'm building a website too, by the way, so that's going to be another avenue to get a hold of me. What's that uh, thing that people always say? Hit that thumbs up button if you like this video. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next one.